Yo, what is up YouTube? Today I'll be showing you how to make every food item in Skyblock. So first we're gonna I'm gonna show you how you can make bread. So first you can use a campfire, small furnace, or industrial oven, but in order to make all this food, you will need a cooking table. So I already have one, but I'm gonna get another one just for example. So 30 wood and 10 iron. So I'll just need to get some 10 iron and wood. So let's get this real quick. Get my axe out. And 30 wood is not that much anyway, so you can get that pretty easily. Iron though can be pretty long to get. If you're like new to the game, but for advanced players, it's pretty simple since most of you that are already good at this game have an industrial smelter, so it's like very dang easy. But yeah, we have close to 30 wood, and we have 30 wood. So for new players, you have to go through the portal and go to the public mine to get iron, and that public mine is by the slime portal. Where you go into the slime island but for me i'm just gonna use my industrial smelter and get all the iron from here and my iron's right there if i can get it out there we go. oh i'm stuck okay there we go so let's go up here so i'm gonna use a campfire since new players probably have a campfire and can't have enough to get like a small furnace or industrial oven so we're going to use a campfire. So to get bread, you need to put one dough in. And to lit the campfire, you need wood. Any type of wood. So once it's lit, it will eventually turn into bread. As you see, it is now bread. Now I'm going to show you the reps, reps, recipes on the cooking table. So let's just go up here where my cooking table is. So right here are all the recipes. So to make a berry pie, you need one dough. And berries. So to get dough, you just need wheat. And wheat can be found by you buying some wheat seeds from the market. And this is what wheat, wheat will look like. So we need three seeds. I'm just going to make that row. Get that row of wheat and get some dough. So we have 66 wheat now. Now we can craft dough. Now once you have that dough, you can now get berry dough. And, but in order to have, or in order to get berry dough, you need to have berries, five berries. Now berries come from berry bushes, which look like these. So that's how you get berries. And boom, now you can craft the berry dough. Now you can actually make a berry pie out of this berry dough now. So let's do that. And I'm using basically a oven conveyor machine. So what I do is I just put the berry dough inside. Bam, and I just put coal in it to actually Make it fire up. Then there it goes. And I'm also going to show you how to do it on a campfire. And basically, a campfire is a small furnace as well. So you should know how to do it. So let's just get another piece of dough. And let's get berry dough. Now, let's go to our campfire. Okay, so now we're at our campfire. Light it up again and put your berry dough inside. And then eventually it'll come up as a berry pie. So that's how you make berry pies. Now, you can also sell this food at the market. I will show this after I'm done doing a tutorial on all the foods. But let's move on to the next item. So the next item is tomato sauce. Now I have a tomato conveyor farm which just gets all this tomato and put in the chest. So let's get all these tomatoes. So this is what tomatoes look like. You can put them on dirt or mud like this and wait for them to grow. And then once you have enough, you can get tomato sauce. Now I'll be showing you how to get tomato sauce right now. So you need three tomatoes. And once you have three tomatoes, craft. And then once you have tomato sauce, you can now make tomato soup but you will need onions and two tomato sauces. So let's get two tomato sauces. Now you need one onion. Now 
Onions can be like this, but they're very expensive. 2,000 per seed to get an onion. But I have onion tower, so I get onions non-stop. So, yeah. So, this is how you make tomato soup. You don't have to put in a campfire or anything. You just need to have tomato sauce and onion. And then bam, you have tomato soup. Now for grape jam, you need grapes. And for grapes, you need, I forgot what these things are called, but let's just break it to make sure you guys know. And you need a tre trellis, trellis, I don't know. But yeah, you need grapes to get grape jam. and. Once you have all, once you have the grape jam, you can make jam sandwich. But you need one bread, and I already showed you how to make bread at the beginning of the video. So let's make another bread. Put that inside there. The cool inside, and then come on. There you go. Bam! You have bread. So once that's done, and you have enough grape jams so you can make a jam sandwich and bam there you have a grape jam sandwich now for the next one is a pe uncooked pizza but you can make it into a cooked pizza by once again getting dough which is three wheat and tomato sauce which is only one all right so once that's done you can now create an uncooked pizza and I'm gonna put it in my industrial oven, like so. Put more of that in there. But again, I'm gonna do it for the campfire. Bam, bam. Now we're gonna craft another one. And then boom, you have a cooked pizza shown here. So now let's do it on the campfire. And boom, wood. Now I'm put uncooked pizza in there. And then eventually it will come up and be cooked. Bam, pizza. For carrot cake, we will once again need two carrots and one dough. As you can see, I have my carrot cake right here. So we need to heat it up. So let's go heat it up. I'm gonna use a campfire. Bam, and let's use wood. Carrot cake batter. So bam, it's there. And then eventually it should be done. And then bam, you'll have a carrot cake. Now, to sell it all, you will need to come to the market on your pathway on the portal, and then go to the market. Then once you're in the market, you'll be here. And then you will need to go to the baker. Now the baker only lets you sell two of the items. So a tomato soup will be 130, you can sell it for coins. Then same with jam sandwich. So that's how you make every food in the game. And yeah, I hope this helped anyone out who's trying to figure out how to cook things in Skyblock. And yeah, more videos to come. Peace.